So I had a bit of trouble installing TensorFlow, and I want to show you what I had to do on my computer to install it. Uh, if you're having trouble installing packages in Python, one easy thing you can do um, is you can just use Google Colab. And if you just search for Colab, then here, here we find Google Colab. And here we are. And let's, let's just create a new notebook. And, uh, and now we have a, a Jupyter notebook that we're, that's open and ready for us to use. So we can, we can write any Python code we want inside this notebook, just like we normally would. And uh, I just hit shift enter, shift return to execute that cell. And uh, so now we're in an environment and we have all the packages we want already installed. Uh, so I can import NumPy and I can import uh, matplotlib. So this is like a, an easy environment to use. Everything is already installed for us. Now there's two versions of TensorFlow. There's TensorFlow version one, and then the recent uh, improved TensorFlow version two. And uh, in this course, this semester, I'm going to be using TensorFlow two. And uh, to do that, I'm going to just, it's a, we have to be a little bit careful about importing TensorFlow two in Google Colab. So the way you do it is you type this line, percent TensorFlow version 2.x, and then we just do import TensorFlow. And, uh, and now we're good. If I check on the version, which version of TensorFlow did we import? It's version 2, 2.1. Um, so that's... Uh, if, if your Python packages aren't working and you're struggling with that, an easy thing to do is just use Google Colab like this. But let me show you what I had to do on my MacBook Pro uh, to get to install TensorFlow on my own laptop. So uh, here's what I do. I open a terminal. I do command space and then terminal. Now I have a terminal open. And uh, so one problem you can run into when you're using Python is if you install a bunch of different Python packages, sometimes various packages can conflict with each other and they can, they can have conflicts and that can be a problem. So uh, what you can do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume you've already installed the Anaconda distribution of Python on your laptop. If not, you should do that first. But let's assume Anaconda is already installed. Um, what you can do uh, to, to solve all of these package conflict problems is you can create a new environment. So uh, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to create a new environment here. Um, and the name of my environment is going to be uh, my I'll call it Python 30, Python 3.7, because in this, uh, in this environment, the version of Python that I'm going to use is 3.7. Now, the latest version of Python is actually 3.8, but uh, TensorFlow 2 is not yet compatible with 3.8. 3 so we have to use uh, Python 3.7. Okay, so now uh, let me do conda um, info dash conda info dash e, and when I type that command, what I get a what I get is a list of the various Python environments that I've created, and you can see here Python three seven. That's the new environment that I just created. Okay, now I'm going to activate our new environment. Hi, Conda, activate Python 3.7. And now if I type Conda info, um, this 
gives me info. This gives me information. Uh, um, and if I do uh, about like my current uh, Conda, Anaconda settings, if I do a uh, Conda list, then I get a list of all of the packages that I've installed so far. So you can see in this list, we don't have NumPy yet. So I'm going to just uh, install NumPy. So it takes a, takes a minute for NumPy to install. And now I'm going to install Matplotlib. So whatever uh, packages I want to use, I can just install into my new environment. And uh, when I program in Python, I like to use uh, Spider, which is an integrated development environment. So I'm going to install Spider. That's the, the one you've seen me using this whole semester. That's my favorite IDE for Python. Spider is actually just a Python package, just like NumPy or just like Matplotlib. Spider is just another package. So we can install it using Conda. Takes a minute. Okay, and now let's install TensorFlow. Proceed. Okay, and let's do conda list again. And you can see in our list now we've got, there's TensorFlow, it's version two, TensorFlow two. And we've got spider and we've got numpy here and we've got matplotlib. So we've got these new packages that we've installed. And now I'm gonna run spider from the, the command line. From So you can see here at the command line, I have this environment activated. And with this environment activated, I'm gonna run spider. Okay, and then, uh, so now I'm in Spider, and I can just uh, start writing my code. So let's import NumPy, and let's check on the version of NumPy, and let's import TensorFlow. And let's check on the version of TensorFlow. Cool, so now we have TensorFlow 2.0 installed. 